It's a great day for round 16 of Super Rugby up here in Tokyo. The Sunwolves' final game at home for 2019. They take on the Brumbies, who have been in great form of late. Asarewa. Asarewa goes very high. Not too deep. And it's been picked up by Salmaki. Salmaki with no one in front of him. And the Tongan Godzilla crashes over for the first try for the Sunwolves. And the crowd love it. It's a great high kick here from Masarewa and the chase just as good. Good percentage option. So immediately it puts the Brumbies under pressure. They have to receive that ball effectively. They failed to do that and they paid the price. Come here, come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, Carter wins it. Simone to bumps off the tackle from Parker, but he gets straight back up. Cusack now. Cusack bumps off the first couple of tackles as well. They're beating the first tackle at the moment, the Brumbies with ease. Slipper out the back to Simone. Simone looking for a runner on the outside. He finds Samu. And the Brumbies have their first try. A well-rehearsed play, and it must have felt a little bit like, like training. Simone was right through the gap. He just held up and found the support with ease in Samu. Pressure from the Sunwolves. It's there for Powell now. Simone throws out the left arm, fended off the defender, and dives over. As willing as the defence was, poor Hayden Parker. First line of defence against the Fords coming around the corner. Probably not the, the bloke that should be taking on that role. Carter has to go into scrum half. Cusack. Leofano chips across to Spate. It's a perfectly weighted kick. A lovely little pop pass to Kuradrani. Banks picks it up off the half volley. What a try for the Brumbies. Superb pickup from Banks. That's a great piece of skill on the move. The half volley off the shins is not easy to do. <laughs> Brumbies are offside, so they have a free roll of the dice here, the Sunwolves. Wunton pulls it, but it's there for Masarela. Masarela slices through. Masarela still going. Great finish. We were talking just before the game, weren't we, Robbie, about players who have X Factor. Masawewa, plenty of X Factor there. The pace, the power, great handoff there. In fact, both hands he used in the handoff there, which is a great lesson for any would be back. And that'll be half time. The Sunwolves play with a lot of heart, but it's the Brumbies who have the lead. 21 points to 12. Coach's box. McInerney joins. Some of the backs come rolling in now as well. McInerney still has it. Now they're getting a, a roll on the Brumbies. McInerney is over. Connection, connection. Masarewa. It's the early pass from Salmaki. And beats the first couple. Masarewa still going. He's into the backfield. Samisi Masarewa finds Booth, who steps and scores for the Sunwolves. And Masarewa just challenged that connection. Split them right up the middle. Great footwork. And also great awareness to slip the ball to Booth, who was supporting. Once again, they set up the mall, and once again, the backs come and join. It's deja vu here in Tokyo. O'Donnell in control at the back. And O'Donnell scores. Oh, McInerney scores. The Brumbies looking to set the ball up again. McInerney wants a hat trick here. He's got the ball in possession. McInerney. He's got a hat trick in the second half off the bench. That's the sixth try for the Brumbies to three, so they're in bonus, bonus point bonus territory. Point. Yep. There's the siren. 
And Kurandrani says that'll do. Full time. The Brumbies are victorious. They defeat the Sunwolves 42 points to 19.